Hey y'all, it's your girl Cecilia. Welcome back to my channel. So today what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you guys my Zodiacathon TBR. I plan on doing this. I kind of really wanted to do it since it was announced back in December or I think December. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys what I plan on reading during this week and but yeah, that's it and let's get into the TBR. I don't know what the fuck that was, but basically Zodiacathon takes place from March 20th, 26th, and it is hosted by Carrie Bookbell. I will leave her channel linked down below. There are six challenges, and I want to show you the six books I'm reading for them. So the first challenge is to buddy read a book with someone who shares your sun sign. So my sun sign is a Gemini, and a couple of us Geminis got into a group chat, and we are going to be reading Witchwood by Tahara Mafi. Basically, this book, all I really know about it is that it has a character who basically cleans dead bodies, I believe it is, which sounds really interesting to me. So I'm interested to see how this goes. I know it's a middle grade fantasy and I enjoy middle grade fantasy for the most part, so I think this will be fun. Number two, read a book with an astrology slash astronomy related word in the title. This one I stretched kind of because I wanted to use one of the books I have on my TBR for this month. I'm going to be putting in The Restaurant at the End of the Universe by Douglas Adams because universe, astronomy, I think it works. But um, The Restaurant at the End of the Universe is the second book in this The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series. This is the bind up. So the actual book is 145 to 311. So it's really only about, these books aren't long at all. That's right here. So it's about this thing. Oh my god. There goes Shuri. It's about this thick, so not too, not too much, but I think that um, I really enjoyed the first book, so I think I will really enjoy going moving on to the second book. So the third book, the, the third challenge is to read a book that fits the challenge for your sun sign. Like I said earlier, I am a Gemini, so the Gemini's sign challenge is a book that has siblings. So I thought the perfect time to read this, um, this is going to be a perfect time to read this specific book. So I'm going to be picking up Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake. This book is a young adult fantasy that takes place, that has basically three sisters and they are all trying to become queen. Each one has kind of their own little quirk. Um, I don't, whoa, here, Mirabella is an elemental, um, Catherine is a poisoner, and Arizoni is a naturalist. So they all have their own little focus and they are basically kind of honing in their skills in order for one of them to be queen. And siblings, I thought this would be perfect because, again, three sisters. So I'm interested to see how this goes. People told me that this is more of a slow book and slow books are hit or miss for me. It varies. Um, as long as I'm kind of into the characters, or at least I feel like there's some semblance of a plot, I'm down for it, so I'm interested to see how this goes. For the fourth challenge, read a book that fits the challenge for your moon sign. So my moon sign is a Capricorn, and for that it would be a non-fiction book. So I have a couple of non-fictions on my sh shelf, so I decided to pick the shortest one, because <laughs> you know readathons, I want to have them go as well. So I picked up Tender at the Bone, Growing Up at the Table by Ruth Ra Rachel? I don't know. But if you saw my um, mystery book cart haul unboxing thing, I will link it up above. Um, this is one of the books I hauled during it. And this is, I did look at it, this is I believe a memoir about the author, Ruth, and at an early age she discovered that, as the quote says in the back, Food could be a way of making sense of the world. If you watch people as they are, you can find out who they are. So this is her memoir talking about how she basically kind of fell in love with cooking and how basically food has gone through their, like, in their history. Like it says in the back that, um, beginning with her mother, a notorious food poisoner known as the Queen of Mold, Rach introduces us to the fantastic characters who shaped her world and her taste. So it tells us the people who have shaped how her cooking and has shaped who she is as a person. So I'm interested to see how this goes. It's not a long book, it's like 282 pages, so I think this will be a, a nice ride. So challenge number five, read a book that fits the challenge for your rising sign or ascendant. So my rising sign slash ascendant is Aquarius, which is a book that's out of your comfort zone. So I used to, I used to say this is more of a mystery thriller, but I think that there's a, there's a genre that I don't like 
as much so I'm choosing a classic I usually don't read too many classics but this is one that I have on my shelf that I've been wanting to read for a while and that is Peter Pan by J.M. Barrie this is the special edition that has a bunch of different like it's kind of like it's interactive and it has a bunch of different like really cool stuff in it so I think that having those aspects into a classic is going to help me read it more plus I really like the story of Peter Pan um, so I'm curious to see how this one differs from the more modern retellings of it and just see how this goes. I also want to read the book, the book Peter Darling, which I believe is like a queer version of Peter Pan, but I want to read the source material before I get into that one. So yeah, I'm excited about this. All right, so the sixth book is basically just to read the group book, which I don't have access to having, so I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to be adding six books just in case I get through all five, so I can just say I read six books during this readathon. And this really doesn't have anything to do with it, but I just wanted to add it onto my my TBR, and I'm adding Vicious. A vis this is not Vicious. What the fuck? Okay, A Darker Shade in Magic by V. E. Schwab. This is on my TBR for the month, and I just wanted to add a six book onto this um, to my TBR, basically, in case I get through all of the other ones. Basically, there are three Londons in this book. There is Grey London, White London, and Red London. I believe. Um, Grey London is very boring and drab, while um, Red London has life and magic and, oh, it's Black London, not light, White London. But Black London, nobody really talks about. There is this one guy who can travel between the Londons. I read the first chapter at the beginning of the month, and the first chapter seems pretty interesting. So I'm curious to see how the rest of this book goes. But yeah, that is my TBR for the um, Zodiacathon readathon. Let me know if you're going to be reading any of these books and if you're going to be taking parts of the readathon. I am going to be vlogging it and my vlog will go up the week after it starts. So about on the 27th. So look out for that. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. I will see you in another video. Goodbye.